Magnus, thank you for taking the time. Uh, firstly, it's uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a change to the to the line of questioning I was gonna give you after this uh, game because the finish wasn't exactly what we expected there. But how would you summarize that ending? Yeah, it was uh, was a bit surprising uh, indeed. Uh, I think uh, he defended very well to to uh, to a certain point, and I think he had um, very clear drawing chances. Um, and then it seemed it seemed like I was about about to wrap it up, um, and uh, he had this last uh, trick, which was very nice. Um, I, I, I hadn't calculated that properly, and then couldn't see a win um, anymore. Yeah, apparently, there is a win, but I, I couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't find it. But yeah, uh, clearly it was a bit of a disappointing way to. Um, uh, to end the day. And we've been having a bit of discussion here in the studio whether, uh, as Simon here dubbed it, the Dirty Harry opening that you pulled today, the pawn to age four, is that something you've actually planned the line for? Is it something that happens in the spur of the moment? No, I think, um, I think if you're going to play a weird first move, it's no less important to, um, um, to be well prepared. So, uh, I kind of knew um, which lines it's possible to to go for, where you know it's a bit it's a bit less of a uh, of a liability than in in others. Um, but um, I mean, obviously, it's not a it's not a great move, uh, but it seemed to work very well. Uh, he, he I think he played tried to to play it a bit to um, um, yeah. Uh, a little bit too superficially, maybe, uh, and uh, he quickly ended up in a pretty, um, pretty unpleasant ending. Does that mean that we can soon expect a G4 opening, just so you can go through the entire repertoire? <laughs> well, G4 is a lot worse than H4. <laughs> um, I think G4 is is pretty pretty bad, and then F3 is the second worst move, and you know. Um, the others are not so bad. Uh, how, how does a draw at the end like this, when you were in a winning position, kind of change your outlook towards tomorrow? Does it change anything, or are you still with good spirits after a good day today? No, not too much. Um, I felt like my, my play was uh, was a lot better today than it was yesterday and the day before. So, still, you know, uh, looking 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 up. And Magnus, as you said, it's looking good uh, now to qualify for the knockouts. And can we expect to see similar opening experiments uh, when you get there? Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> well, it seems like you're catching on to the Danish lifestyle right now, Magnus. You, we, we were seeing you in a different location that we're used to. So let's hope you carry momentum tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you.